in Philadelphia, PA. Today, after a crazy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here between the San Francisco 49ers and the Philadelphia Eagles. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And a glance here at the man calling the plays under center, their 6-4 quarterback. And what I enjoyed in preparing for this game was talking not just with the coaching staff, but with him as well. And I found it interesting that the coaching staff sees him one way, and he sees himself an entirely different way. Yeah, one thing he said he's always working on, he's, we know he's not bad at this, but his footwork always wants to improve that, and that's something he's going to focus on here. And what was so funny, what the offensive coordinator say right off the top, he's got great footwork, love his footwork. So this guy is never satisfied. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. He had the start to a season a week ago that everybody wants to have. NFC Offensive Player of the Week. Can he do it a second time? He can. He absolutely positively can because of the skill set. When people adjust to him, he has a great ability to adjust himself and make them continue to chase him throughout the game. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. We're scoreless after one. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a third down coming up. Back to throw here. That's complete to his running back, Perry. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Back to throw now on first down. It's complete to his big target, Crumpler. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Three yards the game there, second down. They'll set up to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. They'll look to throw again. And that is incomplete. Not the opening possession they were looking for, especially on the road. No doubt about it, because they wanted to come out and establish a little momentum right away. But now bringing up a fourth down, an empty possession, not what they were seeking. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. And leading them, Charles, their quarterback, their field general. And what's a quarterback's best friend? Balance. I think you're right. <laughs> I agree with you. You know, a lot of guys would say great receiver, right? A terrific offensive line. But I agree with you, balance, because if you can run the ball effectively, that just opens things up for guys who want to throw it and gives you easier passing lanes and easier coverages to read. And they said balance will be a focus in this one. Yeah, they don't want it all just heaped on his shoulders, I don't believe. I think they want to make sure they take some of the pressure off. Eluding the pressure right. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the gun, Vic. He's going to float this over the middle deep. This is caught Number inside nine, the 15. Touchdown. Touchdown. A great effort there as the first half is winding down. And the Eagles on just two plays have taken the lead. 
After a fairly uneventful first quarter, that last play, that'll make a few highlight clips. It certainly will, and you're exactly right. The first quarter almost felt like a feeling out process, didn't it? Both teams, okay, what are we gonna do? Looks like they ramp things up just a little bit to start the second quarter. Extra point attempt here still to come. He's got it, and the Eagles lead at 7-0. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays and a long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Perry, the return. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they will not really have time to do much of anything. 15 seconds, all that remains before halftime. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. So we've come to halftime here in Philly with the Eagles on top. As we'll send you down the coast. Now. There you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter. Here we go. So the Eagles with the lead. And they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. Fielded just outside the goal line. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. So here are the Eagles to take over. They've got the lead right now, and last week they were able to defeat the Atlanta Falcons here as they try to make it two victories in a row. It's a play fake. Now Vic escaping the pressure right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. To throw, Vic. He's going to look deep here for Ward. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Buying time to his left. He finds Smith out of the backfield. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. From the shotgun, it's Vic. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read. And by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing, Vic. Flush to his right. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. And this one hits at the three and then bounces into the end zone for a touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense him saying, okay, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for the second half. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. 
From the 22, here's second and eight. He's back to throw. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Back to throw. Over the middle, complete. It's Barber. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And they will get the conversion on fourth down to stay alive, but time, not an ally. They'll look to throw. Throw caught there by Crumpler. And he'll go out of bounds. It looks like right off the 